Hi guys, and welcome to another edition of Zupo's SEO Talk and Tea. Today's conversation is about how SEO and social media work together. Now, the, uh, this is a really important conversation. Social media and SEO arguably are the two dominant forms of marketing that most companies take, and so it's really important to know where they do and don't work together. Now, before we jump on in, I want to just introduce the team we have. Again, we have a Ryoku, a Ryokucha Green. If you watch this other video that where I introduced this team, I don't know how to say it. I just know uh, it's really good. It's one of my favorite teas. And what we call it in my household is the brown rice green tea because it tastes like toasted brown rice. So I'm, this is not a product placement, nor is it like a company offering to pay me. I just know I really like this tea. Again, this is a gift from a great friend of mine named Brad, who's a great marketing talent. Uh, he's worked for Razor, John's Girl, and Pizza. Great guy. Thank you again for this green tea, and I, it's one of my favorites. So if you're watching, Brad, thanks again. But let's go ahead and jump on into the actual conversation at hand. So let's discuss how social media and SEO work together. Now, I think to approach this is first, let's just talk about important pillars of SEO. In another video, which I'll link in the uh, notes, I talk about the three pillars of SEO, which are content, link building, and technical SEO. Now, one of the main pillars is linking. So a lot of people like to think that social media is a great place to build links because, you know, on Facebook and LinkedIn, you can write something and then you can post a link to your website. Now, uh, that's kind of where the first uh, misunderstanding occurs, which is when you're building links on social media, there's something that Google does, which is called a nofollow. You can annotate links on, the, on, on your website and other websites where they're called follow or no follow. And what that means is that links from social media are considered no follow. That means Google knows and they see that, that there's a social media post that's linking to your website, but because it's no follow, they will not give any value or credit to that link. They'll follow it, they'll register it, but they will not see it as an endorsement or of any SEO value. And the reason is because uh, Google will auto no follow all social media links. YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, the whole gamut. You're just not gonna get any value from links being built on social media. So when you're thinking of your SEO strategy and scaling it, most startups and business owners tell me, oh, we can just build links on social media. That actually has zero value whatsoever. So you don't really wanna go down that route. Where SEO and social media do work together though, is that they have a more um, secondary, down the, down the road uh, benefit to each other. And what I mean by that is, because links don't have any value from social media, there's no direct causal benefit. But because um, traffic and uh, visits to and time on site, all these things do help contribute to SEO in some, some sort of fashion. You can argue how much or how much value each factor takes. At the end of the day, the more people visiting your site, the more people doing things on your site, the better it is for your SEO. If your social media is on point, if you're doing a great job, if you're engaging with the community, if you're building links to your website on social media, and people and your fans are clicking on those links and visiting your site, and they're getting there, they're standing there, they're having a great time, they're signing up for your e-letter, I mean e-newsletter, or whatever it might be, that actually does help. So it's not causal directly, but it is like a second degree causal in the sense that if your social media is strong enough, it will provide some value. But if you were to outright ask me, should I do social media to help my SEO, that's not what you should be doing. You should do social media because social media is own right is a strong marketing channel, but it will not influence SEO so directly or so causally because it, the links are no follow and because the content you're putting out on social media exists on a social media's domain, not your own, all the actions you'll be doing don't help your site um, directly for SEO purposes. So again, if you're gonna do it, which you should do social media marketing, it's not gonna directly affect it and you shouldn't be doing it to directly help SEO. They are both individually strong and you should go and do SEO and social media campaigns, but understand they're not hacks for each other. They need individually their own style of optimizations, strategy, and campaigns. So hopefully that was more beneficial to understand how SEO and social media work together and how they don't work together. But if you like what you saw in this video or if this was valuable to you, please like and subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and already pour myself some of this amazing brown rice tea. I'm just gonna call it brown rice tea, guys. Sorry about that. If you are a tea purist or you're this company, I apologize. I just don't know how to say it, so I don't wanna stop butchering it. I'm calling it the brown rice tea. But I'll shut up. 
I'll let you guys get going onto your day. I'm sure everyone's really busy. So I hope to see you guys again soon, and thank you again for watching.